In the world of off-roading, traction is king. You either have it or you don't. And one of the holy grails of off-road traction is the ARB air locker. No other driver operated locker has the reputation or the pedigree that the air locker has. And that's what we'll be talking about today. The ARB air locker. So simple and strong, there is really nothing quite like the air locker. And looks, well, even though it's hidden in your housing, this is off-road artwork right here. Now those nice words said, the air locker might be the most misunderstood locker on the market. Not misunderstood in what they do, but more in how they do it and how uncomplicated they really are. Now here on the worktop, we have an ARB air locker. This is part number RD245, which fits many of the newer Adventech Dana 44s, such as what's found in the Wrangler JL, the Gladiator JT, and even the new Bronco. Now it doesn't fit the Rubicons. Okay, well actually it fits the Rubicon, but it doesn't fit with the Rubicon shafts. We'll have a video covering that soon. Anyways, we have this RD245 air locker here. Let's take a deeper dive on how it works and why we think these are the go-to locker for anyone wanting to add a locker to their vehicle. Now this may get a little technical, so hang in there, it'll be worth it. Now looking at the air locker, the first thing you'll notice is the solid case. It's missing the large windows that you see on an OE case. And by eliminating those windows, ARB limits the amount of flex, giving more support to the internal gears. Opening up the air locker, you can see that it is a true open differential, just like the factory open differential. You have two side gears, the locking side gear here on the flange cap, and then the other side gear all the way down inside the case. Then you have four spider gears. Now this is two more spider gears than the factory case, and they give more support to the side gears to keep them from flexing under load. Now, if we look at the flange cap side, we've got our return spring, and then we have our locking side gear. And you'll see that the teeth extend out past the side of the gear, and that matches the cut on the locking gear and also on the flange cap. Now underneath that locking gear is the bonded piston seal. And that's basically a rubber coated steel washer. Now of course, ARB is using a much higher zoot material called Viton, and it'll retain its flexibility, shape, and seal when exposed to chemicals and high temperatures. The bonded seal sits down in the air chamber that's machined into the cap. And this is the only seal inside the air locker and it only moves a small amount, in and out, no rotational motion at all. Flipping the air locker over, we've got two journals. The top one is our bearing journal. This is where our side bearing is pressed down. The bottom one is our air journal. And that's how we get air into the air locker. If we spin it slightly, you'll see a drilled air passage here. And that goes into the air journal and then down into the air chamber. And that's done via the seal housing. This is a machined ring that has two grooves inside that hold two Viton O-rings. And those two O-rings straddle that hole on the air journal. And we're very carefully push it down while we're twisting. And now we can get air from a stationary object, the seal housing, to a rotational object, the air locker. Now for how it works, we've got to start at the air source. You've got to have one. Now, of course, the perfect match would be an ARB air compressor, like their single compressor or that much sought after twin compressor. However, you can use any other source of air as long as it has a 70 PSI minimum and 150 PSI maximum. And the next step along the way is ARB's actuating solenoid. And this is just an electromagnetic solenoid that has a small valve in there that opens and closes when you hit it with electricity. Now, once you hit the on off switch, the valve opens up. The air goes from your air source down the air line in through the housing, in through the copper tube, and into the seal housing. It then goes between those two O-rings into the air chamber. Now let's get this open. 
with the air hitting the bottom of the bonded piston seal, that's gonna push up on the locking gear, locking that side gear into the case and all the other gears together. Your air locker is now fully locked in. And it's locked in with 800 pounds of force locking those two axle shafts together. Compare that against the factory e-locker where it has about six pounds of locking force. Which one would you rather have locking your axle together? Now to release that pressure, all you have to do is turn the button off. The air goes back up the line and the return spring pushes that locking gear away from the side gear, putting you right back into fully open. Now this is fully open, no limited slip, no automatic lockers, dog teeth, grinding against each other, nothing like that. This is fully open again. And it's gonna give you the most amount of efficiency and lessen the amount of tire wear and drivetrain wear while you're driving down the street. And that's it for the Air B Air Locker. They really are that simple. And there's not much to go wrong with them. And when properly sized to your vehicle and your equipment, they are very stout. Now there is one caveat we need to mention, and that's when it comes to installation. We do recommend having your air locker installed by someone who knows differential setup, and preferably by someone who also knows air locker installation. This is an investment, and if installed correctly and taken care of, you'll get years of use out of them. And speaking of years of use, the ARB air locker has a five-year unlimited mile warranty. Now, in the coming months, in an effort to help demystify this locker, we'll have more videos that cover the ARB air locker, including that how to air locker your Rubicon video. So if you're interested in ARB air lockers for your off-road vehicle, check out that link below to see the ARB line of products we carry here at Northridge 4x4. While you're down there, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, and then hit up the comment section with your questions on the ARB air locker. We'd love to hear from you and we're happy to help. Thanks for watching today. We'll see you soon.